Well, you know, addiction can lead to a terrifying downward spiral into a life of broken, brokenness, but addiction can also be conquered. Tonight, the story of a former addict in and out of county jail for years. But now she's going back behind bars for a much different reason. News Force Heather Holman introduces us to a woman who went from crack to Christ. I dropped out of school about ninth grade. I think at the age of 16, my mom kicked me out. And so I just kind of bounced around. Imagine not having a single childhood picture of yourself. Abused as a child and homeless by 16, Cherie Land left with nothing but fear. Relationship after bad relationship, and then it just led into getting into stripping, which led into the sex industry, which led into drugs, which led into just a lot of brokenness. We were lived in a house, and I call it the crack house because that's all we did in there. So desperate for her next hit, Cherie would steal checks to buy meth. The Oklahoma County Jail became a very familiar place. I just got to the place, I didn't want this to be the rest of my life and all that I knew. And I, I can remember being in that room, just praying, asking God, don't let this be all I know. Like, let me know what it's like to be loved before I die. One day before Cherie's eviction, church members gave her shelter, saving Cherie from addiction and another harrowing round of homelessness. Seven years later, she's going back behind bars. The Apostle Paul is one of my favorite, favorite people. Um, I love that this man was imprisoned most of his life. To witness to women at Mabel Bassett Correctional Center with Prison Fellowship each week. So I grew up here. Prison has been Kelsey Campbell's home since the age of 15, serving almost as many years, half her life for second degree murder. There's new beginnings, there's new, there's, there's open doors. Um, it's just life, you know, it's full of life, she's full of life. Cherie doesn't just witness to those on the inside, but also to those learning again what freedom is like. Come on Mary, welcome home. January 12th, with just a box or two of belongings, Mary Hodges walked out to a world she didn't recognize after 22 years inside. I'm working towards getting my driver's license, which uh, she's brave enough to take me and be with me. <laughs> Mary's found a job at a fast food restaurant. But after just receiving her second associate's degree, becoming a counselor is her dream. I want to be able to help others so that they don't have to go through all the pain I did. I was in for five years. Angela Tuzinski works two jobs and just got her license. This is a safe place, a safe place for me to be open and honest. Both women attend Cherie's nonprofit weekly ministry called Dignity and Grace in her backyard to help former inmates starting from scratch. I'm letting them know that they matter. Mary and Angela both serve time for drugs and enabling child abuse. Both are now registered sex offenders. They're both in counseling. Both live in transitional housing and both are happy learning from Cherie all about baby steps. Flaws and all to I'm accepted. And to me, that means a lot. I could not live without her. For now, Cherie is Mary's chauffeur. She takes her to therapy, paid for by Dignity and Grace. To afford that, Cherie has just taken her biggest step of faith yet, using retirement money to open this clothing store in Oklahoma City. It's called Boutique West, and all proceeds go to Dignity and Grace. Problem is, they're averaging one customer a day. We opened three weeks ago. But, she says, if God delivered her from her darkest despair, this, for him, is easy. And remember Cherie's prayer to feel loved? She is, by her husband, Greg. I feel so loved every day, like I have an amazing husband. From a traumatizing past. When I left that life after 28 years, my word was disposable. To an incredible present, where Cherie has traded in that old label she gave herself for this. Beloved, that's my favorite word. Beloved and blessed, keeping on her phone this picture of a girl and a life she no longer recognizes. I think to remind me, yeah, I, that's one prayer that I do pray probably every morning for seven years. I ask God to never let me forget the pit he dragged me out of. Heather Holman, Oklahoma's News 4. And what a turnaround. If you would like to visit Cherie's store helping fund her ministry, Boutique West is located near Northwest 45th and Western.
in Oklahoma City. They're closed Sundays for church and Mondays when Cherie volunteers at the prison.